Facebook knows that I'm a woodworker, so it serves a lot of sketchy woodworking ads to me, and today we're gonna buy all of them. And this video is brought to us by Squarespace. This first one I've seen a few times, and I'm very curious about this. It's this profiling strip from SmartSaker. It looks like you screw it down to your board and you can make these curves and use your router to follow that template. So it's like a ever-changing template. That sounds very useful. $59.99, add it to the cart. As we've learned, you cannot go wrong with SmartSaker. Up next, we have the Spay Tool Router Bits. I'm not familiar with this brand at all, but this is a compression flush trim bit. The website feels totally legit. They've got some good copy on here. There's no reviews. I mean, you gotta have reviews nowadays, right? Especially when you're buying from companies you don't know about. So you can get the bearing on top and the bearing on bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead and get both of them. We're taking a chance, but let's do it. So, add the cart. This is a lock miter. I've been avoiding the lock miter bit all my life because I've heard nothing but nightmares of getting them set up and it's real finicky. When you actually see them in person, it's a very large bit. Routers scare me and router bits. It's time to get over my fear. One of the issues with a lot of the Facebook stuff that I buy is there's no tracking. You click on that complete purchase button, Sometimes you don't even get an email. And as we've learned, it is a total scam. So I like that they have tracked my order. That gives me a little bit more confidence. 74 five-star reviews is almost as sus as no reviews. All right, add to the cart, pull out our credit card, and purchase. Again with the Smart Saker. They, this company is all over my Facebook ad. And again with the corner clamps. Those of you who have seen the previous videos know that we did not have the best luck with the corner clamps. But this looks a little bit more high-end, although looks a lot like the Craig. So I'm pulling up the Craig website. It looks exactly like the Craig. On the checkout, you can add a tip. Why in the freaking world would I add a tip to a, this makes no sense. This isn't the, the hospitality service world. This is SmartSaker. This is $50.99. If we go to the Craig website, 49, this is actually cheaper. What? And we all know Craig is a high quality company. The rules state, I have to buy every single ad I see on Facebook. So I have no choice but to buy the more expensive SmartSaker. And they want a tip. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next, this one comes from adoringpeach.worldwide. Household name, this is some sort of drill guide. It looks like some cheap plastic crap. I've got very low expectations for this, but a drill guide is a nice thing to have. You can make your own. Some of us like to make our own jigs and some of us like to make cool stuff. So we're gonna go to adoringpeach.com. Would you agree that looks pretty cheap? Oh, dude, that's crap. Yeah, that looks like crap. I don't see any reviews. Height inventory, only 5% items left in stock. They're trying to scare me into buying this because if I wait too long, it's gonna sell out. You know what, I'm not gonna make assumptions. It could be really good. I'm not gonna make assumptions. That's why we're making the video. So let's, let's add this to the cart. They're not asking for a tip. So bonus points there. I actually bought something similar to this recently. And this is a this is to help you figure out what size bolts and, and nuts that you have. This one, uh, this one looks really nice. This is this looks like the one you would hang up on the wall. $77.99. When it arrives, I will compare it to the much cheaper one that I got from Amazon. This does seem legit. Looks like they make some high quality tools. Looks like they make some expensive tools. Up next, we have another Saker product, the Saker Multifunction Scribing Tool. There's a lot of hacks out there on how to transfer like the, the edge of molding to another piece. This looks like it would make that process a lot easier. And we all know about the quality of Saker. We know, we know what they're about. 10 reviews, of course, of course all five-star reviews. Dave Warren says, the scribing pen I bought from Saker is of good quality. The material is metal, which I like very much. Dave loves metal. Looks like all good reviews. Let's get it. Let's add it to the cart, add the bag, check out, and again with the tips. Daniel, should we tip them? 
No. No. I don't know why I need this, but this looks super freaking cool. I want this. I don't know how I'll use it, but I want this. I know you can make your own flat bar benders. Sometimes you want to make your own jigs and sometimes you just want to make cool stuff. This is one of those cases I just want to make cool stuff. So let's, oh shit. $189. Ah, uh, I have no choice. I have to buy it. I have to follow the rules. The rule states, any ad that comes up, I have to buy it. Oh, you can tip them. What the, f what is, what? Let us rob you blind of something that you could probably make yourself with a few nuts and bolts uh, and charge you $189. And they have the cojones to ask for a tip, a 5%, 10%, 15 or none. Let's go with none. Unless they come here and refill my coffee every time it gets low. That's enough. That's, uh, we spent, we spent quite a bit today. How much? I mean, this isn't a math channel. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put it up on screen. <laughs> I'm not gonna add all that up. My bank knows, my bank definitely knows. All right, so now we wait. This usually takes a good three to four weeks. Sometimes you get tracking, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. While we are waiting, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for a long time. They have amazing tools to help you easily design a website. They have this thing called the Fluid Engine. You basically start with one of their beautiful templates and then you start building your website. It's all drag and drop on mobile or the desktop. It's really easy to do. You don't have to know anything about design. It's all right there for you. It's built into the template. A lot of times when you're making a website, you're reusing a lot of imagery. They now have an asset library where you can upload your logo, your headshot or whatever, and you can just reuse that. It's a place to store a lot of your images that you can reuse. A lot of you, you're makers and woodworkers and crafters and metal workers. And sometimes you wanna sell your stuff. You could do that on Squarespace. You can also sell digital items on Squarespace. You're at a craft show, you're out and about. Somebody comes to your shop or your store. You can do point of sale. You can use your phone and the Squarespace app to handle that transaction. Super easy. This is not like the old days where you needed the, the big cash register and the cha-ching and the plonk, 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 plonk. Some of you might remember when you had to do the credit card processing, you had to have a website, you had to have the credit card processor, you had to have the bank, and you had to have all of the stuff that was insanely hard, well, plus the security certificate. It was, it used to be a huge hassle. Those days are completely gone. It just makes your life so much easier. It makes my life so much easier. Visit squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. My packages are starting to arrive. Thank you Squarespace for making this possible. <laughs> Let's open these up. You are a jerk. You are a jerk. I believe for the first time, we got everything that we ordered. Let's see if it was actually worth it. This is a huge box for what's in here. The Identa Bolt. Yeah, this was uh, $78. I think most of the cost went to the size of the box that it came in. Feels hefty. It's packaged twice, just like Peckridge Farm bread. Ooh, that's wall hangable right there. So this is what I currently have. And I got this from Amazon and it costs $64 for these two together. I got both Imperial and Metric. So this doesn't have as many, but it's definitely gonna have all the common ones. This is messy, it's in a drawer and it kind of gets tangled with other things. Maybe you want something that's on the wall. We would just use this to find the right one. So that's a 3 8 16 nut. And then same with the same with the, the bolt. And then you also have metric if you go that way. We've got eight things to rank today. Since I don't have anything to compare it to, I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. They all say comes from shipping department. So you never know exactly what you're going to get. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think this is oh, oh boy. Ah, oh, oh, I didn't wanna. The beef. I wanted to save this for last, but it is what it is. The infamous lock miter. So I got the bit in there and I set the height to the thickness of my board. And then I move my fence in until it just kisses the bit. I'm gonna run one board 
face down, and then I'm gonna run the other board face up against the vents. This is my very first time ever doing this. It's a big old bit. I'm a little worried, but I ain't worried at all. Protect yourself before you wreck yourself. And look at that, look at that. <laughs> Is that perfect or what? Looks cool. Yeah. That was my first time ever doing that. That was the first setup. There was no, no adjustments. I think the newer lock miter bits are slightly different, especially with setting the height. That is, that is super satisfying. Why was I so scared? I am really, really happy with that. I got one for three quarter inch boards and one for half inch boards. That was insanely satisfying and fairly easy to use. So I'm going to move this down and put this right here in the middle. I'm not sure what I was so scared about. What, well, it wasn't even a big, oh, routers are evil. The 90 degree woodworking tool. Just for you guys, I went to Home Depot and got the Craig corner clamp. I'm gonna have you zoom in on this, Daniel. It is a direct ripoff. I highly, I highly doubt Craig is ripping off Smart Saker. I don't think anybody's ripping off Smart Saker for this. Just by feel, it, it actually, it feels, it feels uh, of quality. The Craig feels slightly higher quality, but I don't have any issues with this. It's got a different type of metal that's used for, for this. Craig has a better handle. It's got some higher grade steel on there, but we're not here for comparisons. We're here to test this out. Hold those together and that just locks on there. The Smart Saker is a little more floppy. The Craig is a little bit more stiff. I don't know if that means anything. I would say as far as ease of use, they're exactly the same. You almost need a clamp to hold the boards together to get the clamp on there. I do think like having a pair of these will be useful. So having both of these will be, will be handy because I think they complement each other here in the shop. Would you pay a hundred bucks for two of them? No, I mean, I did. <laughs> the Smart Saker was $50.99 before shipping and taxes. The Craig at most places is $1 cheaper at $49.99. But if you get it on Amazon, you can get it for $10 cheaper. So the higher quality Craig, you can actually get for $10 cheaper, $11 cheaper. This isn't a math channel than the knockoff. For now, I'm just gonna put this at number seven. I'm sure it'll get moved up a little bit. I, this just looks cool. This is gonna look awesome on the wall. And these guys, I'm gonna get some really good use out of. This guy right here. I can't believe we gotta get the router back out. Come here, big boy. <laughs> it came with a flush trim bit. So it's got these little holes on there for me to screw this down. If you're screwing it to your keeper side of the board, you're gonna have little screw holes. And if this other side is the keeper, you have to accommodate the width of the bit. How about right there? If I didn't have this, what I would do is I would cut a template out on the bandsaw and then double side tape that template down. There's a little flex, but not much. I think that'll do. A lot of extra floppy bits. I think it's kind of gimmicky and they show using that bit in the router table. And if you do it that way, you can't do multiple passes. You have to go all the way through. I only use half inch plywood and plywood's harder to route to begin with. Um, but I think even if it was wood, I would still have a hard time following the, the pattern. The way to do multiple passes is if you had a handheld router and you had a bit with the bearing on the other side, and then you could slowly go down and work your way down to that. But you still can't because the top of this isn't smooth. You would, it, you would need to build up a platform here to run your router. Like, I don't, I, I will never ever use this. It's a, it's a gimmick. There are more traditional ways to do patterns. I just don't see myself ever using it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it at the bottom 
of the list. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work as advertised. This is another Saker tool, the Saker multifunction scribing tool. A lot more parts than I expected to come out of the box. Wait a second. Instructions? Wait a second. Are you kidding me right now? For the thing that's easiest to use? Right, are you kidding me right now? I think I'm gonna need the instructions to figure out how to put it together. Oh, nope, nope. You keep those instructions right in your hand. Check this out. Bloop. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. All right. Lock that down, lock that down, lock that down. And you could use it like a traditional compass if you wanted to. It's got a couple of different configurations. I can loosen this and then change the distance from the edge and lock that down. And oh, I gotta lock some other things down. And I can recreate that profile. I like the idea of having this tool, but the knobs were really bothering me. So I went out and bought the fast cap and I think this was 15 or $16. And I just wanted to, I wanted something to compare it to. And I will say the fast cap knobs are so much easier to use by, by a long shot. These little knobs right here, they are so hard to turn. I promise you, I am really trying. That one's locked in there and I can't unlock it. Like, my fingers already hurt from this. The fast cap ones, the knobs are much bigger, a lot easier to use. That being said, fast cap plastic, it feels cheap. I'm not gonna break it, but it feels like you, you can't just throw this across the room. This is aluminum. So it's got higher quality materials. It's just the knobs really suck on there. I like the mechanical pencil in here. The fast cap one, you can put in any pencil and on their website, they show putting a Sharpie in there. And there's a sharpener built into it. This one doesn't need a sharpener built into it because it's got the mechanical. I wish I could combine the two. I think I'm gonna move the lock miter bits to four, move this down to five, move this down to six, and then I'm gonna put the scribing tool at number seven. It's useful, but it's just not nearly as good as the fast cap. One of the few packages that actually says where the tool is coming from, this is the spade tool. So I know that this is the two router bits. I don't know why I bought so many router oriented things today because I really don't I like using the router. All right, so let's open these guys up. They look beautiful on the website, nice and shiny. Had that compre- oh, oh my goodness. Oh, take a look at that. I got two, one with the bearing on top and one with the bearing on bottom. So both of these are compression bits. From the top, it's pulling the fibers down and from the bottom, it's pulling the fibers up so you don't get tear out on either side. Here's a real simple example of how I'd use a template bit at the router. I'm gonna make a lid for this glass dish. I'm gonna draw out the shape on here. Then I'm gonna use some double-sided tape and stick this on there so that I can use the bearing on top here to ride along the glass so I can get a perfectly shaped lid. So that is the exact shape of the glass. Then I can use a rabbiting bit, follow that, so it has a lip that falls into the glass. A quick way, like you could, you don't have to have a heart shaped dish. You could go to the store and get any dish that you want and make your own custom wood lids. You don't want dust, you want this. That bit cut real good. The top edge and the bottom edge, there's no tear out anywhere along long grain or end grain. Looks like it's sanded almost. Yeah, it is perfect. Very, very happy with the way these bits came out. So I will probably use these more than the lock miter bits. So they're gonna go at the head of the pack at number three. I know what this is. This is the drill guide that I thought looked cheap. It actually, it, it, still, it still looks cheap, but it doesn't feel cheap. No instructions. I guess you don't need instructions for a drill guide. It does have a little grippy grips down at the bottom here, um, which yeah, that grips fairly well. You push that button and you cock and load the correct drill size. Okay, I, you know what? I, so far I ain't mad at this. This might actually come in handy. I haven't even used it yet. And a spring popped out of it and this little plastic piece. It came out of this piece right here. I don't even own a set of metric drill bits. So I'm gonna look and see if there was a choice. 
and I just didn't pick the right one. If, if there was a choice or not, that would be, that's, that's on me. First of all, for not using metric like the rest of the damn world. And second, for just not paying attention to what I'm buying. So let me see if there is a choice on the website. Adoring-peach.com, you know that famous website? It's not even on, it's not even for sale on the website anymore. So I went through the screen recording of me buying it and it didn't look like there was an option for metric or normal. I'm just gonna try to find the closest normal bit to fit in here. I don't need the edge guide, so I'm gonna take that off. And I'm just gonna set this on this board. Oh, okay. Right away, this thing right here, it's, it's, it's too loose. Like, that's not gonna help you drill straight. And it's not like it's going through at another, like, yeah. Uh, do not buy this. Do, do not buy this. This is a waste of- $30. You used it for 10 seconds and you knew. Yeah, do not buy this. It is a waste of $30. And the time that you spent looking at it online. And the time, you know, I've not only wasted my time, but I've also wasted your time. This is a definite do not buy. Moving everything down one place, including this thing that I'll never use. I find this more useful than the drill guide. We got one more, one more. I know what this is just from the packaging. This is that flat bar bender, and it just looks so satisfying in the video. $190. Um, I do think, <laughs> I didn't notice this in, in the, on the website or in the video, it's called the machete. Cause it's got a, it's got a machete handle on there. I'm going to not, I'm going to not kill my cameraman. Um, yeah, that feels, that feels there's, good. There's blood on there. There is blood on there. And eventually there'll be real blood on there. <laughs> Zoom in on that. Let's get a, let's get a nice, with the skull background. I got this mounted in my vise. You probably don't want to put it in your wood vise, but my garage, my metal shop is a little messy right now. So we're just gonna use this. So the, it looks like the widest it can go is inch and a quarter, which I have an inch and a quarter piece right here. And I'm just gonna stick that in there. We'll see how easy this bends. Oh, with ease. And that's super satisfying. Oh, look at that. Dude. Yeah, it's like a perfect 90. It's a shelf bracket. I don't know, yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna use this yet. But uh, yeah, this could easily be a, a shelf bracket. Oh man, I love that. Oh, that's so satisfying. This is a little bit thicker at 3 16 Not as wide, it is three quarters of an inch wide, but should handle this no problem. Oh, you can, you can tell it's, you gotta use a little bit more muscle, but it works. We just made a weapon, fucking A. That's awesome. <laughs> For the first time in I Bought Every Facebook Ad History, we did not get scammed. In the first video, we ordered the mortising tool and we got the fan instead. And then in the second video, we ordered the depth gauge and that just never showed up. And then this time, everything showed up. So nobody got got the fan award this time. So this guy, insanely satisfying. I freaking love it. I'm gonna get some good use out of it. Even though it was stupid expensive, it's gonna go at number one. I've got two other Facebook ad videos. You can check them out also. I bought the five most expensive tools on Banggood and ranked them just like this. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. I didn't get scammed. But I felt like I got scammed. You know what I'm saying?